What's cooking folks, Vermillion Phoenix here, and today we're jumping into some more Orcs Must Die Unchained. This time we're going to be visiting the Academy Sewers with Deadeye. Now, this map I don't actually think she should have too much trouble with, uh, considering how well I've been able to handle order maps previously, this might actually be pretty easy. This trap setup seems like it should be pretty good, but I think there's a couple other things I want to do. Uh, mainly, I guess that wouldn't be bad. Um, I think instead of the four spikes, it might be a good idea to have some ballista because they help out in a couple areas here. And I'm going to use Feeling Fierce, even though the areas in this map are tight enough that uh, Bear Hugs isn't really even bad for a melee character or a ranged character like Dead Eye. Alright, Jailer. Mm, no, just in case anything gets by, I wanted to take that extra damage. And the stable hand is fine for, I guess, over here. Oh, that looks good. Actually, no, let's drop that and use the Dragon's Lance just due to its lower cost. Hmm, battle level extra damage all right that's good overachiever lightning deals fire sale and feeling fierce for the traits uh firewall braces and mages clover are good let's go Time to move along. all right we are in i'm gonna grab spring loaded since i am significantly over leveled oops uh hit f4 Where instead of four doesn't work too well <laughs> When no one's around to read the pings. Hmm. So you can't actually place any ceiling traps here at all. All of this is untrappable space, which is unusual because in some areas on the map, uh, those ceilings, since they're in the kind of flat, you can still place traps on. Like over here. Which is interesting. Also over here. Maybe they just specifically made it so that you can't trap this area? I don't know. I, get along. Well, I mean, I guess they did, because obviously that's the way it works. This will stop them. Now, you don't have to put anything there, but I think it makes everything easier. Yeah, right there. This will keep them guessing. That doesn't really burn anything any further away. So, oh, actually what I could do is Your that. Real this. Add another that's slow there. If I do say so myself. And I think that's pretty good. Alright, now what I also want to do is run back here and make sure I drop off these guardians. Uh, the... There's a uh, ambulance in the background right now. All right, I'm not sure which one of these I want to put here. Like I know that there's some, uh... actually let's drop the stable hand here. Cause I remember that there are occasionally some uh, runners that will come through and definitely don't want them to actually get anywhere important. Huh, is it me or did that seem like a really floaty jump? That's nah, normal. Weird. Maybe it's just because I jumped off the cliff. Uh, okay, so this should be able to hit most stuff coming around the corner. I really probably don't need this here. Uh, it would be better off put here for now. For a massacre. But eventually, probably put two there. And, uh, yeah. We are doing alright. Either way, I hope you guys had a good weekend. Since I'm throwing this up on a Monday. And, uh, we will hopefully get some points towards the current uh, community event goal of killing some soldiers. Since this map should have 
a few soldiers coming through. Oop. Once we can actually get rid of all of these bears. Alright, so. Don't mind if I do. Alright, gonna save our coin. I'm gonna let these guys come through, and boom. Alright, nice shot. And with these tight spaces, especially because of the uh, placement of that one particular barricade, uh, these guys are actually taking a very good amount of damage from Infamy. It is definitely getting its money's worth. Alright, so don't need anything back there. Um, I guess I'm confident enough that I can kind of Z this up and get ready now. Uh, what I like to do is something like this. Good. This will stop them. They've broken through a gate. It's not super crazy. Let's do some damage. Watch your feet. More payback. But at the same time, uh, it pretty much guarantees that you catch as many enemies with the traps that you have as possible. At least I think so. Oh. This was a split wave. Guardian's doing what needs to be done over here. Good job. All dead. Oh, whoops. I did not mean to do that. Oh, he took a lot of damage there. Uh, so those are runners at the bottom. Can't win with just arrows. Which is a little dangerous. Because they're going to have a lot of life. And, whoa. Oh, wow. I didn't expect to die in two hits. Alright, so these are more... Won't get caught on a ways again. I hope not. Why did he look like he got stunned? Just from the arrows? That's... Yeah. Nope, these are soldiers. Okay. So I definitely need more traps down here. Current damage is not cutting it. And that's fine. Uh, what we're going to have to do is refresh the burn somewhere around here. And add a bit of this. The boss minion. Yeah, boss minion, whatever. Mighty fine day for a massacre. Let's go, boss. The enemy's boss is dead. Yeah, you are. No problems. Oh, whoop. Alright, so it looks like the wall chargers are actually doing a really good job at keeping everything under control. Now this is a map that uh, the Ready Steady Fire Weaver at Tier 4 will probably get you a ton of good things on. Because you got like sort of this lane that you can fire down, and if you're far enough away uh, you won't get shot. And everything will kind of just travel down this hall. All right, I've got enough traps up there that that lane should be somewhat secure, but now we have to go beef up the other side so that we don't have to worry about that. So what we're gonna do is. Uh, they see this. Watch out! An unstable rift is opening. Get to it and destroy. Basically that. All right, uh, drop this and the fire, and then we basically just let this go. Uh, since space is kind of tight, we're gonna go for a fistful of brambles. Roll into this. Let the bomb do the work. And then we can hop back up here and ooh, hopefully not get ambushed because that would be bad. Uh, somebody made it to the guardian. Don't kill me, please. Thank you. 
uh, bomb that giant so it's not to repeat what happened before and we're good and we gotta hit Z because we don't have a lot of time left don't mind if I do. gonna get these final fuse shock zappers up it's important to remember the shock zappers don't hit multiple enemies uh, they only hit one at a time, but they do a lot of damage very quickly. Uh, they have one of the lowest refire times for any trap on the ceiling. Uh, and they do more damage than the ballista, but they have shorter range. That's ultimately the trade-off. But should they kill an enemy, you get your nice tasty lightning explosion. Oh. Yep, yeah, yep, yeah, just, just gonna run out of the way. Oh. Almost caught me. Gotta be faster than that, though. Alright, let's go head over here, heal up on the way. Nope, 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 nope. Oh no. Okay, didn't make it. Good stuff. I was a little worried for a second. Guardians saved the day though, good job. So always remember to place your guardians, folks. We'll save you a ton of headaches. Okay, uh, how do I not have to worry about the guardian anymore down here? Probably have to put up more ballista. He's going to die if too many more things leak through there. Okay. Alright, the fire's about out. Set another one. More brambles. Ooh, these fire mages are very problematic. Alright, I'm gonna go ahead and grab clear them out. Of course, while clear them out is really good for this lane, it's horrible for the one with all of the uh, verticality at the bottom. The pillbox is shaping up real nice. Uh -huh. Good. But now we can do this. That was a ton of damage at the beginning. The trick I learned from the sidewinders. And you can see like Infamy is just destroying these guys. Probably hop in here, toss a bramble in. Yeah, no contest. All right. Now to finish this off, what we do is toss a few of those out. May not make it. Right now, uh, I did use uh, the hip shot buff there. As far as I'm aware, still bugged as 2.4, so doing more damage than it should. It will probably require a couple more hits. Those are fire mages, and I couldn't see the fireballs. I hate that. Uh, I'm not sure if I shot a fireball or not there because I couldn't see it. That's something that uh probably one of the few bugs or issues left that I would really like to see. Like I'm not sure if there was absolutely no fireball visible there or if there was a visible fireball and I just couldn't see it because of the yeah. concentration of enemies. Right That's never fun. Kill box is shaping up real nice. Yeah, y'all gonna die. Ooh, that was a nice combo chain. Okay. Yeah, one of the interesting things about lightning damage is that, um, wait, what? Okay. Looks like, are they about to send more enemies out of their gate? But no, they weren't. Uh, one of the interesting things about lightning damage is it has a secondary combo effect, uh, similar to fire damage with its burn. Uh, when an enemy dies to lightning damage and, uh, they explode due to the, uh, you know, death to lightning, uh, that actually can hit any of the surrounding enemies, 
and the surrounding enemies will take damage and that adds an additional combo point. So if they're hit by the original source and something near them explodes and they survive both that hit and the original sources or die to one of them, then uh, that lightning damage will have effectively added two points to your combo, which is really nice. All right, just let them come. And then once they line up, uh, I guess he got flipped. Okay, so not sure which of these lanes starts first. I think I should head up top. Yeah, all right, so it starts up top, and then after these initial few enemies, you get Swifty. Boom. Hmm. It seems very important to sort of get your bombs in the center of the enemies. If you only wind up having them go uh, in a corner, uh, you miss a large amount of the blast radius. So you definitely don't want to overshoot that. Need a clear shot. All right. Okay, come on. Where's the Swifty? The I know he's coming. Alright, that fire and then blam. We've defeated the enemy's boss minions. Of course we did. So that actually went pretty well, except for that uh death to the giant towards the beginning there. Uh that was handled pretty easily like much easier than I actually expected so huh, I like it that I uh, definitely good versus the order all right guess I have too many double struts I definitely out damaged my traps a lot there which is probably due to uh, the amount of electric traps that I used and the fact that uh, I used no haymakers, which I usually do. Uh, I generally like to have a mix of haymakers rather than the, um, the shock zapper and then use uh, wall traps so that they can take that bonus damage. But without those, traps seem to be dealing much less damage here, at least the way that I dealt with the enemies. That and uh, the actual overall damage done in that map was under half a million, which seems a little low for Rift Lord. I don't know, maybe some balance changes and such recently with the map have lowered the HP count. I'll have to look at an older video and see exactly how it goes. Either way, um, yeah, versus the order, Dead Eye is amazing. But the next map is Krogan Keep, which should be interesting because it had been recently revisited. Uh, there's some changes, there's like vines and stuff growing in the back here, so you can't actually trap it up or uh, force pathing uh, through it as easily as before. So, there'll be some new things that we can try out here as far as pathing. I mean, I've already done split lanes here and uh, it's not really too tough, but we'll save that for another time. Either way, Thank you guys for checking this out. I sincerely hope, you know, you guys enjoyed it. If you learned something or, you know, you have a comment or something that you'd like to say, feel free to drop that in the uh, comment section beneath the video. And um, other than that, as always, have a good one, folks.